I am one of those people that started playing GTA Online this spring. It's a great adventure building your criminal empire from the ground up and I played over 100 hours in less than a month and 300 in less than 3. It's very hard to start, especially as a solo player, if you don't start with a criminal enterprise starter pack bundle or if you have not picked up a couple shark cards, but thankfully you won't be alone. People from various organizations will call you every 15 fucking seconds to make sure everything is going well. Seriously, these phone calls and notifications will never let you mind your own small fucking business and will keep disturbing, annoying and even fucking killing you. But there is no way of fighting them back. You are eventually going to do what they ask you for and maybe then, finally you will find inner p Oh my fucking god, I hate this fucking game. How the fuck am I supposed to get a million fucking dollar worth the stupid arena workshop with the 250k I grinded in 8 hours, cockstar? Um, <laughs> okay. Sure, you can pause notifications for an hour, every single hour for the rest of your fucking life. But at some point of a fresh start, a question eventually rises in every player's mind. How much money and time does it cost to stop every phone call for good? Today, I will be investigating on this question. So there are two types of phone calls in GTA Online. The first and most notable ones are the calls asking you to buy a property, vehicle or service. Other type is calls asking you to participate in an activity or do a mission. For the rest of the video and sake of easy calculation, we will be assuming that a new player can make 150k per hour. Anyone can make this amount by playing that week's double money and RP jobs or by doing the VIP works, headhunter and sightseer back to back. <coughs> My throat hurts. Oh, better. So let's start with the easier ones that require you to spend money. Bruce will call you time to time and to shut him up you need to buy BST. It will cost $500 and you will only need to buy this once. Not only you will get calls from people but you will also get calls from organizations like Morse Mutual and Meriwether. To stop the Meriwether phone advertisement calls, you need to call to mercenarate another player, I don't know if that term is correct, which will cost you $7500. Absolutely brutal if you call them on a low level. So you just paid some mercenaries to murder someone and you're driving in your modest uninsured vehicle. One of a sudden, Morse Mutual calls you and you already know what to do. You need to insure your vehicle. But that's not a solve to the problem. If you were to insure every vehicle you drive, it would virtually cost an infinite amount of money. There are two solutions. Find an F620 or a Xeon on the street, drive it into your garage to get a free tracker, insure it for 7500 and you have a slow crappy car. Solution number two is to purchase a good get around vehicle. Akuma goes for 9000 on Southern San Andreas. To store the vehicle you will need at least a 2 car garage, but we will be getting a 10 car garage later in this video, so I won't add the cost of a 2 car garage. Throughout the years with GTA Online, more than a handful of property types were added to the game. But they had to make sure players actually buy them, so they made the people associated with the businesses call you and remind you to buy those properties. Ron is one of them. To stop him from calling you, you need to buy a hangar. The cheapest one will run you 1,200,000. You really don't want to buy this location though. This applies to all properties in this video. They are very bad, take my word for it, don't buy them, they are horrible locations. So we got a hangar, what now? Hold on, I gotta take this call from my dearest friend fucking Tony. Yeah, he is asking me to spend at least a million eighty thousand on a fucking nightclub. Oh, so we add that up. But it doesn't end here. A super secret agent, going by the alias Agent 14, which probably is a tank because he's an agent and his favorite two digit number is 14, is calling you to make you buy a bunker. The cheapest one will run you 1,165,000, so you get it. Okay, what? Is it not over yet? What is this 10 wheeled bullshit called an MOC? It costs what? A million two hundred and twenty five thousand? Add it up to the total number. Also, Bryony from Ellen Jerome will call you every now and then and advertise a fucking useless property called an arena workshop. The most basic one will run you 995,000. I couldn't find anything about Pegasus calls online, but I'm pretty sure they used to call me. 
They stopped after I bought a buzzard, so I assume they stop after you buy a Pegasus vehicle. It's not a big deal since the cheapest one, which is a jet ski, costs only like 15k. Also we are focusing on phone calls here, but doing all the things I'm talking about in this video won't stop the flying MOC and the better MOC ads in a black box. There are also two people you meet with after buying two things, which were surprisingly not advertised. The first one being the CEO assistant, either male or female, calling you to invest in a vehicle warehouse. The cheapest vehicle warehouse is a million five hundred thousand dollars. Second one is Malk, I don't know how to read his fucking name, who will start calling you after you get yourself a biker clubhouse, telling you the next step, which is buying a biker business. The cheapest one is the document forgery office in Grapeseed, and it costs a very tiny six hundred fifty thousand. When you get that business, you will meet LJT. He will remind you of your business's status every fucking split second. To stop his calls, you will need to close down your business with at least one bar of supplies. So say goodbye to your brand new biker business and the well-known unknown man, LJT. All of these people make us met time to time because they advertise a property. But there is one we all know who will advertise two fucking properties and you won't even notice it. It's Lester. He will not stop calling you unless you take any service office he advertise, finish all the heists in game, which will require to purchase a high-end apartment with a 10 car garage and a doomsday facility, and require you to have 3 friends. What do you mean I need friends? I have no fucking friends, why would I make YouTube videos if I had friends? Sorry, I got a bit off topic. The cheapest high-end apartment is Del Perro Heights apartment number 7, and it will cost you $200,000. The cheapest facility is in Polito Bay, which costs one and a quarter million, and we add all that up, and the total number is eight million two hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars. Hey Vsauce, editing wicked here. I'm aware I fucked up the calculations, but bear with me, all right? Just focus on the numbers on the screen. Those are the actual numbers. What I'm saying is bullshit. I hear you asking. Oh, wicked! Why can't you do the voiceover once again? Because my fucking toast is burning in hell, holy fuck! If you were to grind that number with your lonely beginner ass, making 150,000 an hour, you would have to grind non-stop for 55 hours just to stop the majority of phone calls. Finishing all the heists in-game takes at least another 15 hours. Current total is 70 hours, but again, it doesn't end here. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, here comes the other type of calls, the ones that will make you participate in an activity, the ones that will make you play a mission. I present to you a man of multiple cultures, you already know who it is. Simon will call you time to time asking if you forget him, and to prove you didn't, you need to do a Simon mission or deliver a car he wants. This doesn't cost any money and even you will be rewarded with money after an activity that will take up to 10 minutes. Speaking of contact missions, you remember the hangar man, Ron? Yeah, he will call you time to time asking you to do one for him. This takes around 10 minutes too. Martin will call you time to time asking you to do a mission for him or complete a gang attack. Another man of action is Dom, which won't stop calling you unless you jump up a fucking cliff and at this point we all want to not open the parachute and end our miserable lives, but oh what? You need to open it to make him stop? So that takes 10 minutes, and a parachute you can yoink off mother nature. Add all that up and it makes around 30 minutes if you try to speedrun it. Add that to the time we needed to grind all that cash and after 70 hours and 30 minutes of continuous active gameplay, you will have a bunch of useless businesses since none of them are upgraded and you will have finally stopped all phone calls in GTA Online. Before the next update that is. But that's all for today, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe. Maybe make a comment about my horrible mic quality. If you want to get notifications for my future videos, make sure to ring that bell so you won't miss any. Stay wicked. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, and you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible, it's not probable, you're responsible. Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, though. You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro, don't waste your time no more. Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove. I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon, and I'll do it because I